Hey guys, what is going on? Jurgen from Zergrino Sports here, and today we are back at it again with some more of our SmackDown vs. Raw 2006 GM Mode series. Before we get into this episode, let's take a quick look at what we did last week on the October 25th edition of SmackDown. Uh, we started things off in Grenoble, France with uh, Rene Dupree announcing who he would be challenging to be the next number one contender for his World Heavyweight Championship at Survivor Series. He says he wants to cement his championship legacy by ending the career, uh, ending a career on the anniversary of which it started. So he challenges the Undertaker. Undertaker was not there, so we get his response this week. And then, of course, in the gameplay, we had a Fugazi three-on-one uh, for popularity purposes um, and just filling up a match in the match card purposes. Second match of the evening, Tajiri defeating the Hurricane in a exhibition singles match uh, in the Cruiserweight division. Paul London not involved in the kayfabe, but in the gameplay, give him a Fugazi popularity rub. Uh, third match of the evening was Muhammad Hassan's Royal Declaration, in which he announced that he would, uh, you know, like to represent SmackDown in the cross-brand No Holds, um, sorry, uh, Buried Alive match at Survivor Series, um, and the general manager tells him that he will have a chance to earn his way in, uh, tonight on this episode of SmackDown against Christian, so... Uh, Muhammad Hassan uh, wants to be the one to represent SmackDown in that Buried Alive match, and we'll see tonight if he gets that opportunity or if it'll be Christian in that spot instead. Uh, then, and of course, in the gameplay, Fugazi uh, handicap, so sorry, RVD. Um, <coughs> excuse me. <clears throat> Fourth match of the evening um, was Jericho versus Orton in the kayfabe. Jericho has a gameplay injury. Minor one two weeks, so we uh, pushed on Benjamin as the uh, competitor in the match instead of the manager because Benjamin was going to be the manager anyway. So I just did a little flip de do um, because in the gameplay he was going to be the manager. He's not involved in the kayfabe, but yeah, uh, Jericho picking up a win over Randy Orton in an exhibition match in the kayfabe. Fifth match of the evening was not a match; it was a Christian. Remote interview, remote promo. He is still not clear to compete due to the concussion sustained at no mercy as a result of Edge. Um, speaking of Edge, he says that he wants to resolve things with Edge. He he knows that Edge has a temper, but if he takes a little bit to cool down, cooler heads prevail, blah, blah, blah. They should still be able to, you know, mend things. Um, but first things first, he has Hassan next week. And once he deals with Hassan, then he'll, you know try and reconcile with Edge is, uh, is basically what he's saying. So, yeah, man. And then in the main event of the evening, uh, Rey Mysterio would have called out Eddie Guerrero for a promo, um, saying like, yo, what gives, man? What the fuck's wrong with you? Eddie would have been like, I told you to stay out of my business and you didn't, Ray. I had to teach you a lesson. Um, the hashtag neutral GM would come out and say, hey, listen, hold up. Ray, I agree you've been hard done by recently. In the title match, here's what I'll do. Tonight, you get a chance to earn captaincy for Team SmackDown against Kurt Angle. And it will also be for the United States Championship. Kurt Angle, at some point in the night, would have gone backstage and been like, yo, what's the deal with the championship being on the line? The hashtag neutral GM would have said, listen, whoever wins this match, because you're in the match, you're the US champion. If he were to win this match or you were to win this match, the title won't be defended at Survivor Series. So we're going to have it defended tonight for the 30-day uh, clause. Um, so, you know what I'm saying? Uh, so, yeah, man, we got uh, we got Kurt Angle versus Ray. Uh, when Ray goes for the 619, Eddie, who was on commentary, would have grabbed his legs. Uh, and then Kurt Angle would have capitalized and uh, won the matchup, retaining his championship and earning his way into the Team SmackDown versus Team Raw match, representing a Team SmackDown. So... There you go. That was last week's SmackDown. Uh, let's take a look at our rivalries here. Bada boom, bada bing. Um, don't do anything with that. Uh, current champions, nothing's changed because uh, Kurt Angle retained his championship there. And then uh, in terms of morales, we've got Benoit, uh, Hurricane Ray, and Undertaker all wanting wins. Which is fitting because they're all uh, on a down arrow there. Um, looks like we had six people go down for the benefit of 14 people. Uh, you know, just because of how we structured the Fugazi matches and stuff like that. So that's not too bad. Um, that's pretty much how you bullshit popularities in this game. Because you can't... Because, like... You know how in real life with wrestling, even if if a character isn't wrestling every week, them just having promos or them just being associated with people increases their popularity? That's not a thing in this game, right? Because it's it's like the full sporting aspect of it. 
So you gotta, you gotta bullshit a little bit if you're doing a series like this the way I do it. If you're doing a series like this where you only play the GM mode for the purpose of the GM mode, you're like, yo, let's do these matches, let's try and win the ratings, then fair enough, whatever. But because I actually book storylines and stuff and trying to have like a, an actual kayfabe and all that stuff, I got a fugazi the system, you know what I'm saying? In terms of popularities though, uh, Dupree had a 96 there. Kurt Angle at a 90, Christian at an 83, Muhammad Hassan at an 82, Eddie Guerrero at an 80, uh, Undertaker at a 78, Chris Ben who Chris Ben Watt at a 77, Shelton Benjamin at a 75, Jericho 74, Edge 73, Ray's at a 71, Charlie Haas is a 68, Davari's a 68, Rob Van Dam is a 68, uh, Randy Orton is a 66, Robert Conway 62, Sylvain Grenier 61, Hurricane 50, uh, Paul Lund 47, Tajiri 36 there. So um, yeah, man. In terms of fatigues, Benoit's still a little bit zucked. Uh, Eddie and Angle are a little bit zucked. And then Jericho is also a little bit zucked. Jericho specifically, no contracts coming up. Uh, Jericho specifically is zucked still with his minor injury, which is a uh, concussion, right? What was his injury? Oh, bruised ribs right there. There it is. All right, never mind. Concussion is Christian in the kayfabe, so, uh, yeah, I don't know why I, uh, confused them there. Anyways, that is all the housekeeping that we typically do, so without further ado, let's get into the episode, uh, with the match card, starting with the first match of the evening, uh, which is, again, not a match, uh, we start off with an Eddie Guerrero and Rey Mysterio promo, where Rey, uh, yet again this week calls out Eddie Guerrero, um, you know, and he says, like, listen, I thought you were being stubborn, I thought you were being your typical self, and you'd just get over this, but something's changed in you, I don't know what it is, but you need to be stopped, somebody needs to put an end to this, somebody needs to put you in your place, and I want to be the man to do it, uh, you, you cost me the captaincy, you cost me the Cruiserweight Championship, the US Championship, um, blah, blah, blah. Eddie in response would be like, hey, listen, man, everybody turned their back on me, so I don't give a shit about anyone anymore, and I will beat your ass like you're nothing to me as well. The hashtag neutral GM, um, would come out and say, hey, listen, guys, hold up, hold up, hold up. Um, Ray, listen, I, I, I understand where you're coming from with the championships, but don't worry about the captaincy because you will be a captain at Survivor Series after all. You both will, in fact, as at Survivor Series, it will be Team Eddie Guerrero versus Team Rey Mysterio. You'll get a chance to get your hands on each other at Survivor Series. So um, we have it announced that we got Team Rey versus Team Eddie Guerrero at Survivor Series, so that's what the that's what the opening promo segment is. Again, in the in the in the gameplay, it'll be a fugazi match, but we'll get to that when we get to that. Um, then in the second match of the evening, we have um, your boy Tajiri taking on your boy Rob Van Dam in what is a number one contenders match for the Cruiserweight Championship. Uh, Rob Van Dam, Tajiri both picking up wins in recent weeks, um, getting themselves a little bit closer to the title, and they have one step ahead of them, one hurdle in front of them, and it is each other. Um, the winner will face Davari next week for the Cruiserweight Championship on SmackDown. So that's uh, that's that match there. Then in the third match of the evening, we have uh, Paul London taking on the Hurricane in a singles match in the Cruiserweight division. A little exhibition action right there. Hurricane versus Paul London. Uh, Paul London picking up a loss a couple weeks ago against RVD and Hurricane picking up a loss last week against Tajiri and then the week prior against uh, Muhammad Hassan and then... And then, you know, at, at No Mercy also picked up a loss. But in the Cruiserweight division, he picked up a loss last week. Paul London in the Cruiserweight division picked up a loss a couple weeks ago. Both of them looking to get back on track. And they will face each other to see who will be able to do so. Then in the fourth match of the evening, we have Shelton Benjamin versus Chris Jericho in a qualifier for uh, Team SmackDown. Now, Kurt Angle would be cutting a promo with Team Angle beside him. Talking about how Team Angle is the perfect representative of, of for Team SmackDown. They're going to beat Team Raw with relative ease because they're the next level, blah, blah, blah. He gets cut off by the neutral GM, hashtag neutral GM. And the GM says, hey, listen, uh, Kurt, I think there's been a little bit of confusion here, so I'm sorry about that. But last week when you defeated Rey Mysterio... You only qualified to be the captain of Team SmackDown. If you would like the rest of Team Angle... Jericho, sorry, uh, Shelton Benjamin and Charlie Haas to be your team members for Team SmackDown, they both will have to qualify individually. So, um, 
Uh, and if you would like to do that, we can set that up tonight. We've got Shelton Benjamin versus Chris Jericho kind of thing. So, uh, yeah. Um, or maybe he wouldn't say that, whatever, but he would go to the back and then they would announce it on commentary. Hey, we've got this later on tonight, Shelton Benjamin qualifying and then blah, blah, blah. So, um, yeah, but basically, uh, Shelton Benjamin versus Jericho in a qualifier after Kurt assumed that he qualified the whole team, but he only qualified himself as team captain. So, um, yeah, man. So there it is. All right. Um, we got Chris Jericho there and Shelton Benjamin. And in the fifth match of the evening, we have Undertaker's response to Rene Dupree's challenge uh, for the World Heavyweight Championship to defend his title against Undertaker and to end Undertaker's career on the anniversary of which it started. Undertaker says to be careful what you wish for at Survivor Series. Rene Dupree, you will rest in Peace. Um, after Undertaker accepts the challenge, La Resistance, Robert Conway, and Sylvain Grenier would uh, rush the ring to try and ambush him a little bit, but he would fend them off, send them packing a little bit, and then uh, and then and then you know do do his little like slit throat thing and then the the taunts and stuff to uh Rene Dupree who would be like oh okay yeah this 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 is the Undertaker yep um so yeah uh Undertaker accepts the challenge of course in the gameplay we're gonna have a Fugazi but um in in the kayfabe it is Undertaker accepting uh the challenge of Rene Dupree we have a Survivor Series world title match set up we've got Undertaker versus um uh, Rene Dupree, the champion, uh, set for Survivor Series. And then in the main event of the evening, uh, we have Muhammad Hassan versus Christian for uh, the uh, spot in the Buried Alive match at Survivor Series against the Raw guy, which we will know now is Triple H in the kayfabe. I don't know if that's what they'll do in the gameplay when we get to it, um, but in the kayfabe, it is Triple H. And uh, yeah, man. Yeah, man, we got uh, we got Muhammad Hassan and Christian to see who will uh, be able to fill that spot and face Triple H in that Buried Alive match at Survivor Series Cross Brand. You know what it is. Um, in terms of the promos for the week, we have one advertising and then another rivalry one, um, and then um, and then yeah. So um, yeah, without further ado, man, let's go ahead and confirm the match card. Let's get into it with the first match of the evening, which I remind you is the Ray and Eddie promo where we uh, learn that we have a Team SmackDown, sorry, Team Eddie versus Team Ray set for uh, Survivor Series. In the gameplay, of course, it is a Fugazi match, which we will be turning Give Up and DQ off for, and we will be playing the Fugazi match. We were playing the Fugazi match as. Chris Ben, who? Chris Benoit, Eddie Guerrero, and Rey Mysterio, and Kurt Angle is going to do the honors of putting us over. Uh, we're going to go ahead and play as Eddie primarily, I guess. Um, we, we won't use Benoit because Benoit's still injured as a result of Eddie, um, you know, and, and the no holds barred at no mercy, but uh, we'll try and use Eddie and Ray specifically just because it's their segment kind of thing. Uh, Eddie is a dirty fucking heel. Ben, who? Benoit is a baby face. And then uh, Ray's also a baby face. Kurt Angle is a dirty fucking heel. Let's see if we can get this Fugazi W for the boys. And while we wait for this to load, we're going to drink some of this G Fuel, uh, baby. Please sponsor me. Hell yeah, brother. Got that mommy milky flavor, baby. Maiden's blood. Shit's real good. Here we go, Kurt. Here we go, Kurt. We'll, we'll watch a little bit of his entrance. We won't just skip it, like, outright. You suck. 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 Bum 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 He has an actual entrance on the show. Um the thing with Benoit is I like memeing his shit, otherwise I would just skip it outright because he's just not there uh, at all in the, in the show, so. Uh, but, I mean, I like memeing his entrance because he has a great entrance theme, so. We're going to meme it a little bit and then and we'll skip it a little bit, you know what I'm saying? Actually, you can meme the whole thing pretty much, though. There's no holding me back. Yeah, I'm not driven by fear, I'm 
just driven by anger and you're under attack Just climbing up slowly, I'm the one and only I'm The fear and hope inside La Chi Steel La Chi Steel La Chi Steel La Chi Steel Bro Come on bro I can't be weak, coming from the streets of the ghetto At the end of the week, I get to keep your dinero You're fast asleep while I sneak in your casa Your life sucks cause you're bankrupt and I'm laughing You can't trust me, ese, cause I'm Latin Let's go, Eddie Guerrero, the GOAT And we got Ray right here Probably should have done those entrances in different order Cause Ray would've come out and called out Eddie, but Oh well Here we go The top out off the top rope, so look down below. And the next thing you know, you'll be on the floor. What you gonna do when you're on your back? With my mean body slam, I'll damn your rack. You like what the heck? All of a sudden, this dude is sitting on my neck. Where's the ref? Straight from the WWE. You know how much trouble you see when you face the man of mystery. Look at him, bro. Cause he's kicking your ass Who's that jumping out the sky R-E-Y Mysterio Here we go Um So yeah Ray's gonna get his morale issue sorted Cause he's gonna get a win Uh Benoit's gonna get his morale issue sorted Cause he's gonna get a win Um Kurt might drop from 90 Which will be a little bit unfortunate But also You know Um It's fine You know what I mean It's fine It's not a real loss It's not a real loss uh! Yeah, fuck you, dude. Here we go, here we go. A German supla, baby. There you go. A German supla, baby. Oh, what am I doing playing as Benoit, bro? Uh, let me get uh, let me get Ray in. I'll do I'll I'll play as Ray. Get get a six one nine done with Ray. Sorry, Benoit. Um, and then I'll tag in Eddie for the win because because uh, Ray calls out Eddie, right? So Ray will start the match. I'll get a finisher off on uh, Kurt with Ray, and then. And, um, and then you know Eddie comes out to uh, Eddie comes out to respond to being called out, and then he wins the match. Kind of thing is is how I'll look at it, right? What the fuck? Get out of here, you fuckhead. Okay, I don't like that. Oh, you're a bitch. You know that? Listen, Kurt. Listen, Kurt, bruh. Get the fuck out of here, man. I can't even lift Kurt. You, Kurt, you fuckhead. Leave me alone, man. Let me do my... No, Kurt, you fucking bitch. Let me do the wheelbarrow, you fuckhead. And if you're gonna reverse it, at least reverse it into a fucking German supla baby, man. Don't just reverse it by ducking under like some fucking generic piece of shit, bruh. Uh-oh. I turned off submission, yeah? Good. Because <laughs> that would have been pretty much the match. That would have been the match done right there. That would have been that. Listen, man. Kurt, you gotta chillax, my buddy. Here we go. Here we go. Don't be a lift. It is a lift. All right. All right. It is a lift maneuver, which means we're shit out of luck. Because we can't lift him. Because he's a cruiserweight. Which I thought was something that they introduced in 2007, but I was wrong. There you go. Come on, bro. Come on, bro. Ooh, what is this one? There we go. That's a bulldog. That one's possible. Oh, let's do a ground move. All right. A little bit, uh, a little bit anticlimactic for a Ray maneuver, but it's fine. Okay. Ooh, that's my gooch, brother. That's my gooch, man. Listen, bro. Get the fuck out of here. What the fuck do you think this is, huh? All right, listen, man. Listen, man. Listen, man. Listen, man. Don't do it. 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 Okay, well, it wasn't a German, uh, which is good. Get the fuck out of here, bro. What you running at me for, you fuckhead? What a jerk. How about a little less? What the fuck am I doing here? Come on, bro. 
Okay. If, if I accidentally hit one of my guys, is it gonna... I'm just doing this over and over. Okay, Benoit. I mean, that's cool, Benoit. There you go. That didn't get me a finish. All right. I wish you had, like, a secondary one as well, you know? That, that would have been a meme. There you go. Oh, fucking Ray. I'm Ray. Eddie. Why are you doing this to me, man? There you go. There you go. All right. 619, baby. And then we'll get uh, Eddie in here, and then uh, we'll win the match with Eddie. Ooh! That's 619, baby. And now it's time for that West Coast pop, baby. Uh, yes, yeah, sir. All right. Here we go. Oh, got him. Yeah, get that rear naked in, brother. A sleeper hold in wrestling, right? But, you know. Come on, bro. Come on, bro. Come on, bro. Ooh, that's a reversal. What the fuck are you doing, Ben? Why? Okay, listen, 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 bro. Listen, bro. What you know about a fucking brain buster, bro? Get away from those ropes, brother. Here we go. It's over. He might kick out, actually. No, there it is. All right. Uh, we get that Fugazi W for Ray, Eddie, and uh, and Ben Who. Um... Yeah, let's skip that, because that's just completely fugazi. Ben was in the fucking hospital. Uh, Eddie put him there, and then Eddie wants to do the same to Ray, so they would not all be celebrating together like brethren or teammates or whatever. So, uh, yeah, man. Yeah, man. All right. So, uh, yeah, that's a, that's a nice fugazi W. I mean, Benoit wasn't the one who got the win. It was Eddie, but that's fine. That's fine game. Don't worry about that. Uh, all right, next one, man. Rob Van Dam versus Tajiri. We, uh, we have uh, Robert Conway in there. DQ off, give up off. Uh, we're going to be playing this match as your boy Tajiri. Tajiri will be earning himself a shot at the Cruiserweight Championship next week on SmackDown. Uh, we got Tajiri right here who's a dirty fucking heel. We got Robert Conway who's not here in the kayfabe, but he's here for gameplay purposes uh, in the corner of Tajiri who's a dirty fucking heel. Um, and then Rob Van Dam's a baby face Let's see if we can get this W for your boy Tajiri And while we wait for this to load We're going to drink some more of this Mommy Milky G Fuel baby Please sponsor me ah, Yes sir Yes sir Love to see it <clears throat> One of a kind, hey, 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 one of a kind. What do you see there? I see that look in your eyes Makes you believe I'm one of a kind There I live in the back of your mind Makes you believe I am one of a kind Hey, 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 one of a kind Hey, 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 one of a kind One of a kind All right, man. We'll skip that because we don't really uh, meme it too much because it's you know just instrumental. But uh, yeah, man. Let's uh, let's let's get this fucking W for your boy Tajiri. Let's earn him a shot at the Cruiserweight Championship for next week's SmackDown. Come on, bro. There it is. Ah! There you go, RVD. Get fucked, kid. Oh, okay. No, no, hold on. Okay, listen, listen, listen. Rob? Rob. Yeah, okay. I mean, you're a dick. You're a dick. I was expecting a strike. Submissions are off, so I'm, I'm cool with that. Submissions are off, brother. I'm cool with that. I'm cool with that. I'm cool with that. Come on, bro. Ooh. Yeah, you're, you're trying to spam the submissions, but I literally have it turned off, so like, I don't know... I don't know what the fuck you think you're doing, uh, but uh, I know what I'm doing. Well, I know what I was trying to do. It was a fucking German soupla baby. Uh, but you fucking gabagooled it. 
What the fuck are you fucking? Are you joking with that fucking hitbox? I mean, every crowd. Oh. There you go. No doubt about it. Here we go. He gets it done in the ring. And I guess that's really you got him. I mean, you know, considering Yes, sir. Oh. I feel like that would hurt you equal amounts as the other person. Maybe not hurt, but like getting a leg across your leg is going to have a lot less long-term ramifications as fucking bumping your goddamn base of your spine on a mat. There you go. Oh. Good thing, uh, good thing that happened, because uh, that would have lost me some momentum, bro. I'm a fucking heel, brother. There you go. Oh, look at that moonsault, baby. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Oh, there you go. Oh, that's a power bomb. Yes, sir. Let's go. Love that from you, Tajiri. Love it. All right, well, RVD didn't want me to fucking shine, bro. He, he's selfish, man. He's selfish. He wants the spotlight for himself, man. How you doing this to me, man? Why you doing this to me, RVD? Oh, there you go. Into a good old uh, German supply, baby. Let me get you with my finisher. Yes, sir. And he, I love how he just, like, crumples in front of you. That's perfect. Not even a one count on orange after a finisher? Man, you're trying to bury me! The fuck? That was interesting. There you go. There you go. Oh, jeez. Why are you doing this to me? Uh, the fuck? You got me just stun locked, bro. Oh, jeez. All right, all right, RVD. All right, RVD. There you go. There you go. Come on, man. Come on, man. Okay, why are you reversing me like that, huh? There you go. Oh, come on, bro. All right, listen, Tajiri. I'm Tajiri. Listen, Rob. You got to chill, brother. With these reversals, man. You got to chill with these reversals. There we go. That's a supla. That's a supla. Oh, there you go. What are you doing, bro? I mean, why are you doing this to me, man? My fucking buttons are stuck. The the X button is stuck. Um, not like completely stuck, but like it doesn't it doesn't come back properly. Um, compared to how it should, you know what I mean? How dare you? How dare you, Rob? And then you go for one on me, but guess what? Your gooch ain't tingling, but mine's... Okay, well, I went for it. It didn't give me it. I was gonna say, but mine's Bouda. Um, but, uh, you know. Oh, well. There you go. Yeah, crumple in front of me. Cool, man. Thanks. Thanks, man. Kick out of this one at one, you fuckhead, or before one. There it is. There it is. Number one contender, Tajiri, baby. Uh, Robert Conway is is not there, so we'll just skip that because that's a little fugazi right there. A little fugazi right there is what that is. Uh, but don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. It's fine. We got a new number one contender for the Cruiserweight Championship. Tajiri will face Davari on next week's SmackDown for the Cruiserweight Championship. But next up, we have the Hurricane versus Paul London, baby. Give up off, DQ off as per usual. And we're going to be playing as Paul London. Paul London will be getting back on track with a win against the Hurricane uh, today on SmackDown, tonight on SmackDown, whatever. Uh, Grania here for Fugazi reasons. He's, he's not actually here. Um... Like I said, he would have been involved in the Undertaker segment that we're going to get to in a bit. Um, but uh, he's a dirty fucking heel in this Fugazi appearance. And a baby phase hurricane. Let's see if we can get this W for your boy, Paul London. And while we wait for this to load, we're going to drink some more of this G Fuel, baby. Please sponsor me. Yes, sir. Stand back. There's a hurricane coming through. All right, get Hurricane out of here, man. Get Hurricane out of here, man. Yeah, leave him for dust, bro. He's not actually here. He's not actually here. Don't worry about him. Well, how'd he get there, man? <laughs> he 
he's just there, like, just standing. He's not T-posing because his arms aren't out, but he's just there standing. He's clipped into the barricade, and he just... <laughs> oh, man, I love old wrestling games, man, because the entrances with managers, they just don't make sense, and they didn't give a fuck enough to make them make sense. <laughs> you know what I mean? So it's just fantastic. I love it. Absolutely love it. <clears throat> Come on, bruh. Come on, bruh. Oh. He always moves to his right, I guess, to start a match, right? I think he did the same on the last week and the week before. There you go. Um, ba-boom, ba-bing. They're saying that we're in Montreal, Quebec on commentary, even though we're not. We're in fucking Italy. Yes, sir. Ooh, there you go. No finisher. Hello. Do you not know how this game works? Whoop! That one got me a finisher. That's pretty cash money. There you go. There you go. Oh, there you go. Uh, ooh, look at that. Okay, why are you why are you reversing me like that, huh? Why are you reversing me like that, huh? You fuckhead. There you go. Oh, there it is. Nice little backflip uh, drop kick from uh, Paul London, which I've always loved when he has done. Because it's a nice looking maneuver. Nice little enziguri right there. Yes, sir. The hurricane is certainly ah, is that an enziguri? No, this is just like a step up kick thing meme, right? Some some shit like that. I don't know. Up. I was... I, I had an opportunity to do my finish, the dragon suplex, off of like that baseball slide through his legs earlier, I think. And I, I don't know how he sold it long enough for that to be the case. I don't know where the fuck I'm going with that. There we go. There you go. Get your ass up. Here we go. Hurricane. Okay, listen, man. Get the fuck out of here. What you trying to do to me, huh? What you trying to do to me, huh? Get you with a good old German supply, baby. Get your ass. Okay, he reversed. Yeah, that's cool. That's cool. There you go. Come on, bro. Here we go. Yes, sir. Supla. Little fisherman supla. Maybe not. Oh, I like that. I like that a lot. I like that a lot. Um, absolutely. Here we go. Here we go with a good old belly belly. Let's, uh, listen, man. Listen, man. What the fuck? Bruh. Uh-oh. German supla, baby. Bridge into a pin. Okay, I didn't even put that on him. I didn't even put that on him, man. There you go. 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 Ooh. Come on, bro. That's not what I wanted, but... Okay, so I, I just need to, like, get him in, like, a corner and do it, so it's... You know. Oh. Okay, what the fuck? Get the fuck. There it is. Yes, sir. What the fuck are you doing, huh? Get the fuck out of here. There you go. Come on, bruh. Yeah, okay. Yeah, that's great, man. That's great, man. Hey, why don't you, uh, why don't you stop being a little baby back bitch and get hit with this? How dare you? And it's the German reversal as well. It's the German reversal as well. It's insult to injury, man. It's insult. Why the fuck do you keep catching yourself on the rope like that? Like, why? Why are you not damaged enough? Is that what the meme is? Like, I'm not really sure. Oh, John Cena. Um, like I'm. There's a little moon salt here, right there. Standing one. Get the fuck out of here, my brother. Here we go. Here we go. Oh, one. Two. I'm actually. I, I didn't know that that was a. I should have known that it was a pin combo, like a bridge into the pin. Uh, but I didn't. Um, and then and because of that, you know. Um, oh, there you go. There we go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go with the 450. The 450 is quick to like get off, right? I mean, he reversed it, so he's a little bit of a fucking fangul. But um, you know. At least the 450 doesn't have like a taunt on it or nothing like that. You know what I mean? So it's it's kind of it's kind of cash money to get off. You just go up there. You're just like, hey, guess what? Uh, it started and it's getting hit, and then he's gonna get rope break. 
Excuse me! The fuck do you think you're doing, huh? Does he have a... Yep, okay. I think he might have a shooting star, though. Then maybe I'll try using that. Because I think he was using that before Billy Kidman complained or something. Some shit like that. I don't know. The fuck am I doing with that? Oh, there it is. Right in the middle of the ring. All right, cool. There it is. Uh, there it is. All right, just pin him off that if it works. I love a good shooting star press, man. There it is. Kick out on three. That's not nice, but uh, the shooting star was. I'll tell you what. I will tell you what. That shooting star press was nice. Uh, this winning animation's for Daisy, but there we go. Paul London with another win under his belt. Uh, not another win, getting a win under his belt since his last loss, you know what I'm saying? Trying to get a little bit back on track in the cruiserweight division, and he, he does so um, against uh, the Hurricane there. So there you go. Hurricane obviously wanted to win in the gameplay, uh, but he wasn't scheduled for one this week. He was scheduled to lose in the kayfabe, so uh, unfortunate for him. Um, yeah, uh, so I don't know. Has to wait for another time, Hurricane. I'm sorry. I mean, I could have double booked him, I guess, but then... One of Conway or Grania, I guess, would have to be um, left out, I guess. So, I don't know. Whatever, man. Anyways, on to the next one. Jericho, Shelton Benjamin, Charlie Haas right here. We're going to be playing this match. We're going to be playing this match with no DQ, but give up will stay on because of Jericho. Got to give him a fighting chance because this is a legitimate matchup. Uh, we're going to be playing a Shelton Benjamin right here, who is a dirty fucking heel. Charlie Haas is a dirty fucking heel. Chris Jericho is a baby phase. Let's see if we can qualify for Team SmackDown with Shelton Benjamin. And while we wait for this to load, we're going to drink some more of this G Fuel, baby. Please sponsor me. Now, I will say that um, Shelton Benjamin does not win clean in this matchup. Kurt Angle gets involved. <clears throat> and I'm your priest. Look at Jericho right here, man. Jericho. Step in the arena and break the walls down. Step in the arena and break the walls down. Boom, Jericho. Now you know. Jericho. I'm awakened from a deep sleep. You're all weak. You're living in the agony of defeat. Look at him. Is Chris Jericho? <clears throat> the heartbeat is the only sound. Um, yeah, Kurt Angle gets involved to help Shelton Benjamin win. No stopping, you can't rock with me. No stopping, you can't rock with me. Just drop it, ain't no stopping me now. I I was expecting. You can't rock with me. No stopping, you can't rock with me. Just drop it, ain't no stopping me now. I was expecting them to have their tag team entrance just because they were associated, but I guess when it's with manager, it doesn't it doesn't work. So there you go, there you go. Uh, yeah, so Kurt Angle gets involved to uh, kind of screw over Jericho. From having, um, for, from winning the match kind of thing. So, uh, Shelton Benjamin wins with, with that Kurt Angle interference. Kurt Angle would be ringside, uh, with Charlie Haas, of course. Um, you know what I mean? And, uh, and he would, uh, help Shelton Benjamin win. I don't know what the sell of that chop was from Jericho, but, uh, it is what it is. There you go. There you go. Little fucking Goldberg Bret Hart kick. Oh, oh German Supla, baby. Good shit, brother. There you go. There you go. Come on, sir. Okay, listen, 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 listen. Get out of here. Trying to do that shit to me? There you go. Come on, bro. Yeah, wrench that in, bro. Wrench that in. Love it. Absolutely. Come on, bro. Come on, bro. I'ma hold that in, I'ma get this Fugazi momentum, I'ma beat your ass up, meantime, German Supla Baby, there we go, ooh, there it is, come on sir, German Supla Baby, there you go, there you go, there you go, come on bruh, what the fuck are you doing man, 
Oh, that's not great, brother. If he had a finisher, he could have done that into his uh, into his walls of Jericho from behind, bro. Come on, man. Come on, man. Come on, man. Okay. Yeah, not even a one. Not even a one, you arrogant son of a bitch. Let me, uh... Thanks for spoiling the reversal, Cole, by saying great reversal at the start of the move. You know what I mean? But, eh, it is what it is. It is what it is. Whoop! Okay. 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 All right, I feel you. I feel. There's where the fuck do you guns. think you're going? He's where the fuck do you think you're going? What the fuck did you think that was, huh? Come on, man. Here we go. Oh, there you go. You're getting schooled, brother. You're getting schooled by Shelton Benjamin. You're getting schooled by this man. Get the fuck out of here. Oh, belly to belly. Love a good belly to belly. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Okay, okay, listen, Jericho, Jericho. He's really obsessed with going up to this fucking... That's, yeah, that's not gonna do you too much, too much good, bro. There you go. There you go, Jericho. There you go, Jericho. What you know about that, huh? There you go. There you go. Come on, bro. Come on, bro. There you go. Ooh, okay. Ayo, Jericho. Ayo, Jericho. Come on, bro. There you go. There you go. Oh, there it is. All right. Ooh, there it is. There it is. Pick your ass up. Get you with a T-bone. All right, man. One. Two. Ooh. Ooh. Ooh, he kicked out. All right. All right, Jericho. All right, Jericho. You really want this, huh? You really want this smoke, huh? All right. You reverse the German. How dare you? How dare you? How dare you? The fuck is your problem, huh? The fuck is your problem? You son of a bitch. The fuck is your problem, man? Come on, man. Oh, okay, we'll store it. Yeah, I don't know why that doesn't count as like a groggy state, but you know, it is what it is. It is what it is. Let's go with you with a T bone. T bone suplex. Hey, you know what better than that, right? Two. There it is. Um, so yeah. Uh, th these guys will get decent time to work because Jericho and Shelton are fantastic wrestlers. Um and then Kurt Angle gets involved. The the involvement of Kurt Angle, I don't really care too much. Um, distract the ref when Shelton's about to tap, so whatever. I, I don't really care. Um, distract Jericho, I don't really care. But, but Kurt Angle gets involved in some capacity. Um, and he... Uh, and uh, he cost Jericho the match, giving Shelton Benjamin the win as a result, meaning that Shelton Benjamin joins him on Team SmackDown um, at, at Survivor Series. So, uh, you know, there you go. Two-thirds of Team Angle has filled up Team SmackDown. We'll have to wait and see if Charlie Haas can uh, add to the team, you know. That's what we have to wait and see, brother. But that has to wait for another week. Tonight, we have this right here. Uh, Undertaker, Randy Orton, Rene Dupree in a Fugazi W over Davari, bruh. So, um, give up and DQ off, absolutely. We're going to be playing. We're going to be playing as Undertaker because it is his segment, really. Um... Undertaker right there is a big phase. Randy Orton, who's not involved at all, is a dirty fucking heel. Rene Dupree is a dirty fucking heel. Davari's a dirty fucking heel. Let's fuck on him with uh, the trio of Undertaker, Randy Orton, and Rene Dupree. And while we wait for this to load, we're going to drink some more. It is G Fuel, uh, baby. Please sponsor me. Ah, uh, yes, sir. Ah, uh, yes, sir. All right. All right, man. All right, man. <clears throat> Here we go. Look at him. On the way to the ring, from Minneapolis, Minnesota, main man. Devore. Main man, kinda, not really. Not not in this match. In this match, he's the fall guy. <laughs> he's getting fucked on. Um, but this match isn't real, so it's fine. It's fine. It's fine. Don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. It's fine. He's the Bowery. All right, man. Ahem. 
<sighs> Come on, bro. We'll, we'll just skip his entrance. Because, I mean, he takes a while to get to the ring and then, you know. You know. Absolutely not. We don't watch Undertaker entrances around here, except for title matches, legitimate ones, not Fugazi ones like a couple weeks ago, and uh, and pay-per-views. That's that's only time we watch Undertaker entrances, so there you go. Look at him, man, it's Randall Keith! Nothing you can say, nothing's gonna change what you've done to me. Now it's time to shine, I'm gonna take what's mine. Take what's mine. Hey, nothing you can say, nothing's gonna change what you've done to me. Now it's time to shine, I'm gonna take what's mine. You're gonna burn in my light. Burn on the I usually skip it by here, so I'll skip it again. <laughs> Hell yeah, bro. We got Rene Dupree, the French Phenom. The main event, the draw, the World Heavyweight Champion, Rene Dupree. Main man, quite literally, in every aspect on this roster. <laughs> Hell yeah, bro. All right, man. All right, man. Come on, dude. Let's go. Load us in so we can beat some ass, brother. Yes, sir. Beat his ass. Yeah, fuck him up. Yeah, fuck him up. Ooh. It's like we. It's like he owes us money, bro. We're beating him like he owes us money. Yeah, there you go. Everybody's just fucking on each other. There you go. Randy already had a finish somehow, and he already hit it. All right, man. There you go. Here we go. Here we go. Come on, bro. Ooh, fuck your arm. There it is. Cool, man. There it is. There it is. Bada boom, bada bing. Ooh, there you go. Davari's fighting back. Ooh. There you go. Well, you got stopped in your tracks, brother. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Here we go. Ooh, yes, sir. Going down. Here we go. Randy. Randy, why are you trying to roll up somebody in a fucking three on one when you're one of the three, brother? The fuck you doing? The fuck you doing, Davari? The fuck is this? Get out of here, you fuckhead. Alright, nice. Uh, I'm gonna try and put him through an announce table, actually. Just, just cause. This is gonna be a little bit too quick of a meme if we if we don't. So I should have turned off count out as well. Uh, why does I really hate that he has a roll up, man? I really hate that he has a roll up. There you go. Beat his ace. Does what? Do I have to get back in, or can like one of them like get in and break it, or is it? Let me out. Yes, but this might not be the yeah, now grab him. And, I wish you could just grab him and drag him out like that, you know what I mean? There you go. Alright. 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 I want to put him through a table, Dupree! Hey, Dupree, man. Hey, Dupree, man. Oh, Randy, you fuckhead. That's me. You bitch. And now he's going to do the table. Uh, the table finish. The chair finish. 
There you go. Yeah, that's cool. That's cool, Randy. That's cool. That's cool. That's cool. That's cool. And then and then Dupree with his finish. Yeah, that's cool. That's cool, man. That's cool. That's cool. That's cool. That's cool. That's cool. That's cool. That's leave me the fuck alone, dude. Let me fucking fight him, man. It's my segment. Randy really loves chairs, bro, huh? This could be over in 60 seconds or 60 minutes. Why? Well, it wouldn't break. Both of them love chairs. I'm really enjoying this. Leave me alone. 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 Oh, fuck off. Randy, don't do it. Rant. Okay. Okay. Why did the count get started? Did somebody go in? Holy fuck. Let me up there, man! Holy fuck, Randy! Let's go to the other one. <laughs> Let's go to the other one. There we go. Last ride, man. Last ride. Here we go. Woo! There it is. All right. We'll just win like that, then. Don't come out here. Don't come out here. Don't come out here. Everybody just leave him out there. Everybody leave him out there. Nobody, ex nobody exit the ring. Nobody exit the ring. Randy? Randy, I'm watching you. Yeah. There it is. All right. Just, just, uh, just, uh, you know, you know, mix things up a little bit with how we win the three on one handicaps. Um, that's, uh, that's, that's completely and utterly fugazi what we just saw there. So don't worry about that. But, um, yeah, man. Yeah, man. All right. <clears throat> there we go. Undertaker, Randall Keith, and Rene Dupree. So Undertaker gets the win that he wanted. We gave Benoit Red and Ray uh, the the wins that they wanted, so we got three more Al things sorted out this week, uh, and it is now time for the main event of the evening, which is Christian versus Muhammad Hassan. As you can see by Edge's involvement there, give up off, uh, DQ off, give up on actually, because Muhammad Hassan. Um, we're going to be playing as Muhammad Hassan. Uh, Edge is going to get involved and screw over Christian yet again. Muhammad Hassan is a dirty fucking heel. Edge is a dirty fucking heel. Christian's a baby face. Let's see if we can get this W for Muhammad Hassan and get him in that spot for Buried Alive. And while we wait for this to load, we're going to drink some more of this G Fuel, baby. Please sponsor me. <sighs> yes, sir. Um... Here we go. Main man. If you close your eyes, your light, a naked truth revealed. Dreams you've never lived and scars never healed. The end of darkness, light will take you to the other side. And find me waiting there, you'll see if you just close your eyes. If you just close your eyes. You'll see if you just close your eyes. Main man, man. He, he deserved so much more from his fucking WWE run, man. God fucking damn it. God fucking damn it. Oh, well. Um... And then we got Muhammad Hassan here. Main man himself. With Edge instead of Davari. Yo, maybe maybe the game glitches and we just get Edge yelling in Arabic. In Edge's voice, though, not Davari's voice, just Edge. Is it Arabic or is it Persian? I don't know, actually, what uh, Davari would speak. I have no idea. Um, genuinely could not tell you. I, I think the entrance music's in Arabic, though, so... I don't know. I don't know. Let me know. If, if you do know, let me know in the comments. So, yeah, man. Yeah, man. There's Muhammad Hassan right there. Yes, sir. Main man. Top 10 heels of all time in wrestling, despite only being on the road for like eight months. Because he was that fucking good. All right. Uh, so for the finish, Davari would uh, distract the ref or something like that. And um, when when Hassan would go over to kind of see what's going on, because maybe Davari would like throw the cruiserweight title in for for you know Hassan to use or whatever. 
the ref would see it, uh, throw it out, and then start yelling at, at Davari or whatever. Hassan would go over, kind of start walking over to see it, whatever. With his back turned to Christian, Christian would try and go for the unprettier. He'd turn around into the unprettier, and he would get pushed off into a spear from Edge, uh, who would hopefully, the camera work would be that he comes, like, off off, off the shot, you know what I mean? Off camera, on onto the shot. Um, so, you know, unprettier uh, pushed off into a spear from Edge, gets out of the ring. Uh, Muhammad Hassan, you know, picks him up and, and does the flatliner thing, or maybe just puts in the... the um, what am I looking for? What? Hold on. Excuse me. Imagine if I lost just like that. <laughs> um, the the camel clutch. He puts that in. You know what I mean? And then uh, and then he gets the win. German Supla baby. However, after the match, Edge would start to beat down on Edge yet again, and then he would go get two chairs for a concerto. He placed his head on the first chair, and while he's he's got the second chair up to swing down, all the security and and the and the agents and stuff would come down to to stop him, kind of thing from 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 doing that to Christian again. Um, and then and then that's how we go off the air. That's dookie that that didn't have a connecting animation there, but that's fine. Um, what are you doing, man? Yeah, what are you doing, man? What are you doing, man? Come on, bro. There you go. There you go, sir. There you go, sir. All right, all right, all right, all right. There you go. Oh, nice little neck breaker. God, I'd love to see it. Come on, bro. Fuck you, Brian. Brian Hebner, that is. Not just anybody named Brian. But I mean, if you if you know a Brian that's a piece of shit, then you know, send, clip that and send that to them. You know, that's 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 it right there. Boom. There it is. All right. Bada boom, bada bing. Yeah. There it is. All right. There you go. Boom. Pick your ways up. Let's get you in the corner here. Let's do one of these, whatever this is going to be. Nice, nice uh, raised knees into the abdomen. Did that just put his head health red? Do you fucking understand what the fuck is going on here, game? I just need him in the stomach three times and you're like, yeah, that's going to give him a concussion. The fuck? He just punched me straight in my fucking gooch, brother. I don't appreciate that. I really don't appreciate that, Christian. Just so you know. I do not appreciate it, Christian. Come on, bro. Go get, get him with a big ol' supla. Just a regular, regular supla, you know what I mean? Here we go. Nice little northern lights. Into the bridge. I don't need that. I don't need that. Don't need that. There we go. But. All right, listen, listen, listen. Come on, bro. Turn around. There we go. Let's see what this is right here. There you go. Good shit. Good shit. Here we go. And let's see what this other move is. I think he might have reversed that. Yeah. Ooh, got me. He got me good, brother. All right, listen, Christian. Christian. Christian, I'm going to need you to... Hey, yo, yo, yo. Yo. Get the fuck out of my face, brother. Here we go, Christian. Here we go, Christian. Let's see what this is, though. Oh, just that again? Okay. I mean, that's that's fine and everything, but... Come on, bro. Ooh, let's, uh... There you go. There you go. Nice little clothesline right there. Ooh, that's my stomach, man. I don't like that. Here we go. Boom! See, that only... I'm trying to get his body to red. Because I want to put the uh, camel clutch in. Here we go. Ooh, that did it. Here we go. Let's get him in the center of the ring. And let's do the camel clutch. So yeah, uh, Spear from Edge um, gets out of the ring. And then Muhammad Hassan would, uh, you know, I guess get the camel clutch in. Uh, Christian wouldn't tap. He would pass out in it. You're not getting out of this, Chris. Okay, uh, maybe you are. Holy fuck. That's, uh... That buried me a little bit, a little bit. That's a little bit of a burial to, to... Okay, I don't need that. That's not what I need at all. Um, yeah. Hey, man. Uh, there you go. 
Can I? Okay, well, I have to store it. I wanted to do it fresh, you know what I mean? But uh, I guess we'll just have to do it like this. I don't like that this is a pressure one, because the AI is really good at just defending these. You know what I mean? But, uh, that's fine. That's fine. Let's apply the pressure, man. Let's apply the pressure, man. You can't see, man. You're gonna tap, man. You're gonna tap, man. There it is. All right. Uh, but yeah, he would pass out, and then the ref would, you know, call it kind of thing. Um, yeah. And uh, there you go. Muhammad Hassan wins the match. He will be going to Survivor Series to face Triple H in that Barry Live match, and then uh, Edge afterwards, like I said, a little bit of a little bit of a beatdown on uh, Christian goes for the concerto again, but is stopped by the agents and the and the and the staff and you know security and all that shit running down to uh, to prevent it from happening this time. So that's that's how we uh, end off the show there. I just hope Christian, uh, sorry, uh, Jericho didn't get injured from his match. Because I don't want to play that again off camera. Um, I forgot Raw had Taboo Tuesday. They got 475 fans from that. John Cena and Triple H's rivalry has been amazing. They've they've been so boring with it in their matches though. But I I kept things like somewhat interesting. And what is this? Who's this for? Carlito can't buy a match. Batista Intercontinental Champion. They got a 3.5. We'll we'll take a look at it in the schedule. Full recovery, thank you. That's great. Um, let's take a look at. Uh, let's see what they did on Raw on their go home. On their go home, they had a WWE title battle royal. Uh, Shawn Michaels versus Flair in the main. TLC Kane and Eugene, and then those. Cool. Uh, let's see how we did for SmackDown. We got a three and a half to start things off. Uh, yo, yo, the Cruiserweight division. Granted, Conway and, and Grania are in there to build it up a little bit more. I was going to say the, cruiser, the Cruiserweight division is not a one and a half anymore, but it probably still is without them. Um, yeah, this Fugazi match got a three and a half, uh, all that shit. This one got three, this one got three, this one got three. That's fine. Uh, let's see what they did for Tab Tuesday, man. Tori Wilson versus Lita, cool. Uh, Book and Orlando Jordan versus Regal and Danny Basham. You have the other Basham now, so I don't know what the fuck you're doing there. Um, two and a half star, Ric Flair versus Kane and Eugene. Uh, John Cena versus Triple H first blood. Five star match, fair enough. JBL Big Show first blood. Two first blood matches back to back. Um, one of them would be fantastic because Cena and Triple H can go. A JBL and Big Show first blood match. <laughs> Let's move on. Batista with Trish versus Shawn Michaels with Stacy. Last man standing randomly in the... Oh, this was for the Intercontinental Championship, not the WWE title. Okay. Yeah, I don't... Whatever, man. I don't really give a fuck. I don't really give a fuck. Uh, rivalries, man. There it is. All right. Cool. That's cool. Uh, current champions. Nothing has changed. Let's take a look at the roster here. Um, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. We have all twenty people, man. That's good. That's good. In terms of morales, we've got Hurricane and Shelton. Shelton probably wants a contract. Yeah. Yeah. I was gonna say because like, how? What else would you want? Uh, maybe a title shot, but he's champion. Right? He's tag team champion, so he wouldn't want a title shot. So, yeah, yeah, fuck that. Uh, Hurricane still wants the win. Um, I think he just got a minus three on his popularity. I think he was 50 at the beginning of the episode. In terms of popularities, though, let's take a look, man. Uh, Rene Dupree kept his 96. Kurt Angle kept his 90 despite losing. Christian kept his 83 despite losing. Muhammad Hassan went up to an 83. Eddie kept his 80 despite winning. Undertaker went up to a 79. Benoit um, is back on the upward trend but kept 77. Shelton Benjamin went up two, I think, up to a 77. Edge went up to a 74, I think. And then Jericho went down to a 73. I think they swapped. I think they were different before. Um, Ray up to a 72. Charlie Haas up to a 70. This man was like 23 at the beginning of the series, by the way. Uh, <laughs> Davari had a 67 there. Randy Orton at a 67, Rob Van Dam 67, Robert Conway 63, Sylvain Grenier 63, Paul London at a 48, Hurricane 47, and then Tajiri at a 39. Look at that just sharp decline from the 60s to the 40s. You know what I mean? That's a little sad, man. A little sad, bruh. Just because everybody was like, like Christian was in the 60s, I think, to start or something in the 50s, some shit like that. Hassan was in the 50s, I think. Rene Dupree was in the 50s, I'm pretty sure. Or 40s, maybe, I don't know. Kurt was up there. 
Eddie was up there ish in the 70s. Undertaker was up there. Benoit was 60s, I think, maybe 70s. Shelton was low. Everybody was low, bro. So, yeah, fuck Raw. Uh, anyway, so we just got the two morales. Is Shelton one of the guys on? Nah, Shelton's not one of the guys. Um, expiring, but we'll just give him a quick five week upgrade. And then we'll give a three month to, uh, it would have to be Hassan, right? I don't need, I don't need, I don't even need to look at the popularities. It's just Hassan gets the three month because he's the most popular out of those individuals right there. And then next week it'll be, uh, Rob Van Dam. And then the next week it'll be Grania. And the next week it'll be Hurricane. And then we move on to these boys down here, um, Granted, so that'll be four weeks, that'll be three weeks, that'll be two weeks, and then we got all... You know what, uh, we'll do... We'll just do one this week, because they're all, like... Mm, I just don't want to go b below three mil, so... We'll just leave it at that. Chris Jericho is, of course, recovered. Uh, fatigues, Benoit still has some, Eddie still has a sliver, and then Kurt Angle still has a sliver... And then other than that, we are good. We only have the one morale issue, which is Hurricane uh, wanting a W. Other than that, we are all good with the morale, which is, I'm, you know, I don't believe is real. I'm fully expecting half the roster to have morale issues at any given week. So <laughs> that's a little bit of a meme. Um, so yeah, man, uh, they had Taboo Tuesday, uh, which is why they were gaining all those fans, despite whatever. Um so yeah, uh, hopefully we gain a little bit more fans on the way to Survivor Series. And hopefully at Survivor Series we gain fans by winning the interpromotional match. And then we have Armageddon to build to, which we'll get fans towards. Uh, they've got this, and then we got Rumble, which hopefully will win um, in the gameplay and uh, stuff. And then um, No Way Out uh, is ours, and then they don't have anything between that. So yeah, man, that's fine. That's cool. That's cool. We uh, were almost halfway, it looks like, right? Because Survivor Series is about halfway. I always, I think I've mentioned this before on the videos, but I've always seen SummerSlam as halfway, even though SummerSlam isn't really halfway. SummerSlam is four months in, five months in. So, um, yeah. Because we got November here, and then we got one, two, three, four months. So, I guess October would be halfway. No Mercy's like the halfway point, I guess, really. But, oh well, whatever. It doesn't really matter. Um, yeah, man. So, there we go. Uh, we're going to go ahead and save. And then we'll run through next week's match card, the November 8th match card in Portland, Oregon. And then uh, and then we'll end off the episode, man. So, yeah. Let's go, man. Let's go, man. All right, perfect. All right, so uh, the match card for the November 8th edition of SmackDown is as follows. We start off with a Muhammad Hassan promo in the first uh, match of the evening, segment of the evening, whatever. Match number two is Davari versus Tajiri for the Cruiserweight Championship. Match number three is Charlie Haas versus Chris Jericho uh, for the last spot in Team SmackDown. Uh, the fourth match of the evening is uh, The Undertaker versus Sylvain Grenier. And the main event of the evening is Edge versus Rey Mysterio. Uh, five match card instead of a six match card next week. Obviously in the gameplay we'll have all six, but in the kayfabe it's just the five match card. Um... And then, uh, and then, yeah, that's that's the match. Obviously, all the storyline stuff gets explained at the beginning of the episodes, uh, but that is the match card for next week. So, yeah, hope you guys enjoyed this video. If this is the first video that you're watching from the series, you can check out a link to the playlist at the end cards at the end of the video, as well as a link to my other shit on the channel. Uh, follow me on Twitter, link in the description. If you want to join the Discord server for the channel, link in the description. Please sponsor me, G Fuel. Uh, that'd be very cash money of you. Um... Be sure to turn on notifications so you never miss an episode because YouTube likes to zuck your boy and not put my videos in your sub boxes. So by pressing a nice old bell icon, you will get a push notification anytime I do upload and you'll never have to miss it. And uh, yeah, man, hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, please leave a like, subscribe, share it to all your friends, comment down below, all that good shit. And I'll see you guys next time.